is it is it um, autobiographical in a way? The lyrics. It's just um, your your vision on and stuff. Uh, I. I I tend to use myself as a, like by looking at me and how I react and act, I can uh, kind of like generalize to everyone. Uh, like um, so, so I'm kind of mixing uh, my views from a personal point of view and the views from a kind of bigger perspective. Uh, like yeah. on all humans, and, and I, uh, the first song, How Low, I, I feel like I'm writing not only about this kind of uh, accusing about this other one, it's also about me in first, uh, the feeling of when you get caught in something and start doing something just because you do it and, and it's, it's part of what you do and, and you get so involved in it that you, you you don't really see the consequences, and and uh, so it's kind of so it, it can be taken personal. But yeah. but you I have, I have an example for that in your own life. You get caught up in something and yeah, I tend to, to do it all the time actually. And and in, and, in, and, what, and, and what? In uh, I mean, it's, I I think it might be a more uh, kind of uh, uh, a guy guy kind of thing. Like uh, men tend to get more, you know, one directional and, and don't see... Focus on one thing. Yeah, thing. instead yeah. women... Uh, uh, this is very generalized, what do you call it? This is a very like, generalized point of view, but, but uh, I, I feel like women are, are better at, at, at having the focus on different things at the same time and tend to be not causing that much harm as, as men actually do while they're focused on something and almost taking stuff very competitive and uh, so I, I think one example is uh, one personal example is me releasing a record and touring and touring and and, and, uh, and you know forgetting about calling a friend and uh, my friends at home or or forgetting uh, just you know by traveling I'm actually uh, causing a lot of carbon dioxide emissions with the flying everywhere and but uh, I'm just worried about my guitar and my music <laughs> yeah okay. so that, that's kind after, of you, after you came back after the the veneer tour um, was there a moment that you that it was just finished and you were a few months at home or? yeah I, I felt like I had many those sort of stops like uh, after I toured quite a lot in Sweden I had a stop, but then all of a sudden it was starting to happen in, d in a different country. So I started off again and started off again, and that's why it's been like four years. Yeah. But uh, I decided to, to stop definitely in November last year, and uh, decided to say no to shows uh, until I had the new record. And how did you feel then when you were finally at home? Yeah, it was uh, actually really nice to, to when when I was home and I, I was able to to uh, do ordinary day-to-day -day stuff and and use like three four hours a day to just sit down and play guitar and write lyrics and that was uh, extremely nice to feel that I started to find the beauty in in, in being creative and, and just being more more a relaxed person. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, if you listen, look back at, to the album now, Veneer, are you still satisfied with it? It's, it's four, years, four yeah. years old now, I think. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't listen to it. And it's like, okay. with a new one, I actually can listen to it and feel like, yeah, yeah, I like it. <laughs> but with Veneer, it's, uh, I feel like it's a bit wimpy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've, I've, I feel okay with it in, when I think of it as a documentation of my old life. Uh, I I like some of the songs better than others, and I don't feel like it's complete. It's a complete album. Yes, yeah. it's, it's more like a documentation. Uh.